Hi everyone, welcome to week four. We have officially made it to the halfway mark, which is really exciting. I hope you're super proud of yourselves. I know that I'm really proud of you. I was very impressed by all of the thesis statements that everyone posted back in the week three discussion. So great job, thank you for participating. If you haven't been able to post your initial discussion yet for week three, please go back and do that before you jump into week four. In week four, you will have um, to complete the lecture here. So as always, you open up this Word document. This is not optional, it is required. It's very important to uh, learn all of the techniques to have you be successful in the rest of the assignments required of you. And this one specifically, you will be learning and practicing a lot of pre-writing strategies. And then you will go ahead and reflect upon those pre-writing strategies that you read about and practice with um, in the discussion board. In your own words, you will explain why pre-writing is very important and how it can benefit you in your education and in your career. In addition to that, you also will write a short paragraph on the pre-writing strategies that you could potentially use when organizing your resume. And then after that, you will have our big assignment that is due at the end of the week. This is the English 102 week four business writing assignment. So you'll wanna go ahead and open up this document. It's going to contain all of the directions that you need. I want you to read them very closely because like I said, this is our biggest assignment. And um, because that it is our biggest assignment, I also just want to review a couple of things with you. I'm not gonna go over the directions in detail with you here, but I do wanna just touch on um, a few important things here. So again, this is the week four business writing assignment. It is worth 15% of your grade. It is due by the end of this week. As always, Saturday before 11.59 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If there's an issue with that deadline, absolutely reach out to me so you know we can talk about that. Maybe there's an option for you. Now, please go ahead and read all of this on your own very closely. This will give you uh, a nice overview, big picture of the assignment. And then in short, the directions for this is you will be practicing using your proper grammar and mechanics that we have been working on over the last couple of weeks. And you're going to respond to a workplace scenario in writing. And the scenarios that you can choose from are listed here in this document. There's three that you can choose from, but I only want you to select one. And then you're going to address all of these points listed here. You can go ahead again, read those on your own, just so you kind of have a visualization of where this is. Now, because this is a large assignment, I would strongly encourage you to break up the work into at least three to four sittings. And that way this feels a lot more manageable and you don't have to cram all of that into maybe one or two sittings. So an example that you could kind of approach it with in is, Go ahead and review all three of the scenarios. Think about who the audience is in each scenario and maybe just start brainstorming how, you're, how you would approach writing a response if that were the scenario that you were to choose. This is a really good way to just kind of start getting comfortable with the topic that you're going to fully commit to. Maybe that would be your first day that you look at this. Take a break, the second day you come back and you begin the formal writing process where you're getting things on paper, brainstorming, making outlines, whatever technique you decide works best for you is, is how you're going to approach that. And then in the third sitting, I would say that's when you can really begin um, expanding upon this, the details that you have written down in your outline or in your brainstorming bubbles, whichever technique you decide. And then in that sitting as well, I strongly encourage you to go ahead and take a very close look at the rubric here. So this is what I will be using to grade you. It is mostly going to be on grammar and mechanics. So you want to make sure that you're proofreading and you're spell checking and you're doing the best to be clear in your writing, just like we did in all the other weeks together. And then the second portion of the rubric here is organization, examples, and description. We've also been working on that. So 
we want to make sure that your content is well organized and that every point that you make has strong supporting details explaining, further explaining the point to help us as readers understand. So when you are writing to your reader, you want to kind of pretend that you don't know what they know. So you really want to spell it out and, and spoon feed the readers to make it easy for them to follow. And that's all I'll be looking for here. But please keep in mind, this is a rough draft, so I understand that things won't be perfect. That's fine. Kind of goes back in line with, you know, what I talked about in the first or second video that I had posted about valuing progress over perfection. This is a perfect time that we're going to put that into action because you're going to do your best to submit this essay, and I'm going to give you a lot of feedback. It might look a little bit intimidating when you first get it back, but you know, this is all a learning process. So I'm going to give you a lot of feedback and I will ask you to apply that feedback to the revision that you then do and submit in a later week. But um, just follow all those steps, do your best to be clear and support your details. And I'm sure you will do fabulous like you guys have been doing already. And that's really it for week four. Now, this is a little bit different. I want to show you this quickly too. We will be, you will be submitting your assignments through the Blackboard link. This is the first time that we're doing that this session. So I just want to kind of walk you through it. All you'll do to submit the document is you'll type it up in a Word document, file save as in a place that you remember. Um, I'd suggest maybe in the documents folder or your English class folder, wherever you want to save it, just remember where you do. And then come back to Blackboard and click on this assignment title, W4 Business Writing Assignment, click to submit, and then you can just go ahead and click this Browse Local Files button, and that will allow you to browse all the files saved on your computer. Double click the Word document that you saved with your um, response to your written scenario, and then you can just go ahead and hit this orange submit button. That's it. Um, but I do understand that because this is the first time we are submitting through Blackboard, there might be a little bit of a learning curve. So if you get stuck, definitely don't hesitate to reach out to me. You can shoot me an email or pop over to the uh, Ask Your Instructor tab, and I will definitely be happy to walk you through that. And any other questions that arise, the same goes for that as well. So I do look forward to receiving your drafts, and I hope you have a great week.